Welcome back to another Climb product walkthrough. I'm Lucas Eddy, and today we're looking at the redesigned Badlands Pro A3 jacket. Really quick, that's kind of a mouthful, so I'm just gonna call it the A3 for the rest of this video. We came out with the A3 last year in a limited edition run. We got so much positive feedback about it. Now we're releasing it in a multiple set of different color options, and it's not gonna be limited edition anymore. So here we go right off the top. This is the Badlands Pro regular jacket, except with significantly more abrasion protective fabrics throughout. That's what the A3 stands for. A3 stands for triple A, which is a CE triple A rating. And this is the only Gore-Tex adventure garment in the world that has that CE triple A rating. So it's really significant. Typically that triple A rating is reserved for ultra heavy, really uncomfortable, really hot, really bulky track suits, like leather track suits, and a few other uh, super heavy canvas options out there. There's nothing that is this comfortable, mobile, ventilated, breathable on the market that has that CE AAA abrasion protection rating. At the top, we have a nice comfort lined collar. You can open it up and put it on the collar tab back. Hooks right there, give you some added airflow throughout the top. And then moving through the rest of the top here, talking about vents, we have two bicep vents, two lower wrist vents here, which are double head adjustable. You can open the bottom or you can unzip from the top. On the torso here, we have two big intake vents here in the lower chest and stomach area that flows a ton of air, especially when you're standing up. And then if you want to spin around here, Woody, we have two vents here on the top of the back and then two at the back of the bicep. So when you're standing up and you have all these vents open, you get a ton of airflow through the whole jacket. So if you want to know more about other jackets that might have similar or less venting, check out the Adventure Jackets comparison video. We're not going to go into those other options in this one. Just know this thing flows a ton of air when all the vents are open, even though the jacket itself is our kind of most built up burly jacket. Now we'll talk about weight later. So let's keep going through the vents here. Down in the pants here, we have a thigh vent and a thigh exhaust vent in the back. And then at the very bottom in the lower shin area, there's another kind of boot vent, which we added to this regular Balance Pro jacket last year. Of course, we're bringing it this year to the A3. And when you're sitting down on the adventure bike and you pop those lower vents open, it really does flow air into, into your lower knee, into the top of the boot. It really adds a lot of comfort down there. So now that we talk about comfort, let's look into the adjustment features that make this jacket pretty moldable to whatever body type you have. Up here in the arm, we have a bicep and a forearm adjuster here. Those are glove friendly, super easy to adjust that. Cinch it up, you can kind of pull the vents open when you cinch those up too. And then moving down the arm here, we have adjustable cuffs, of course, which you can really expand with that zipper vent like I mentioned earlier. Up at the top of the collar, we have another cinch adjuster there. And then at the bottom of the hem, we have another cinch adjuster there on the jacket. In the pants, similar setup, adjustable cuffs down at the bottom, adjustable uh, knee pad cinch kind of with that strap behind the leg, and of course, adjustable waist there on the pants. So your standard pant adjustment and jacket adjustment here all across the board. Now let's look at pockets. There's a ton of pockets to go through here, so just be patient with us. Up here at the top, we have two zippered chest pockets. You can pop those open for me. And those are all water resistant zippers here, by the way. And then up on the upper left chest there, we have a small pocket there. It's good for earplugs, good for a spot track or anything like that. Moving further down, two hand pockets right here, easy to access. Down here on the lower right hand pocket also, we have a little uh, pouch built into the inside of the pocket. You can put keys, chapstick, earplugs, also whatever small things you don't want jumbling around your whole pocket, you can put them in the organizer in there. Then if you want to spin around Woody one more time, we have another horizontal back pocket all the way across there. There are two zippers on the side to get in there. You can put gloves, maps, something small and flat in the back there, it's pretty convenient. And one more pocket on the outside of the jacket up here on the sleeve. This is your stat card pocket. If you want to put your medical information in there, uh, EMTs, EMS, medical services are trained to look for that little star symbol right there. So if you're injured in a crash, and you're laying in a ditch, they just have to move your arm to get that info. They don't have to move your whole body to get something out of a pocket somewhere else. Now, that's the jacket outside pockets. On the pants, we have two pockets on the side. And one of these side leg pockets has also another little organizer in it, just like the hand pocket here on the jacket. So again, you can organize some more small stuff in there in that leg pocket. So that's the outside pockets on the jacket and the pant. Now let's jump to the inside. And right off the bat, you'll notice a Napoleon pocket here just outside that exterior zipper. So that means you don't have to unzip the pant to get to an inside pocket. That's super nice for kind of more uh, valuable items, for example. And then on the inside, we have a ton of pockets built into the liner here. We got lower pockets on both sides, then an upper pocket here on the top right chest. And there's also a hidden document pocket somewhere else in the jacket, which we're not gonna tell you because then we'd be telling everybody, but you'll be able to find it if you kind of dig around. 
And now we get to the final stage of this whole walkthrough here, which is going to be the most important part, the fabric and all the fabrics on the outside, really. But first, you'll see some reflective hits up here and on the pants and other parts of the jacket. That's just if it's moody and cloudy and rainy outside kind of gives you some extra safety there when somebody else's headlights hit those, they'll see you better. So build those in, they're nice and discreet. They're not gonna see them be shiny until you hit them with light. But here we go. As you know, we use super fabric on all of our kind of high-end products here. And we have super fabric up here on the shoulders, the elbows and the knees in this jacket. Other areas like down inside the knees are leather and then the rest here is this blue fabric in different colors on other jackets is gonna be this Vectron fiber fabric. Now the fibers themselves in the fabric that are made of Vectron are 10 times stronger than aluminum per weight and five times stronger than steel per weight. Now, how does that translate into a jacket like this? The material here, this sheet of fabric is 10% lighter roughly than what's in the regular Badlands Pro. When we put it all into a jacket like this, are you gonna notice that weight difference being 10% lighter by hand? Probably not really, let's be honest, but it is significantly stronger than anything else we have in our whole line at the moment and significantly stronger than any other competitor out there in this class. So that's the key thing here is we have significantly more strength without significantly more bulk. In fact, slightly less bulk. So that's a pretty cool thing here with this Vectron fabric. So this is kind of our pinnacle set here in the whole adventure lineup at the moment right now in 2023, launching this. The Badlands Pro A3, this is a step above even the regular Badlands Pro jacket, which itself is pretty legendary in the whole adventure jacket industry. So this is one of those jackets that we design so you can basically live in this. If you're a world traveler, you're going all over the world with this. You're sleeping in it, eating in it. Well, probably not sleeping in it, but you get the point. You're spending a lot of time in this jacket. This is what this has been for is world travel, grand journeys on your motorcycle, rain, weather, snow, everything, layer up underneath it, super hot weather, wear some cooling base layers, unzip those vents. It can really do pretty much everything. Riding off road, it's got that, that built-in articulation, some of that mobility for a little bit more demanding riding. And then of course we have totally street ready abrasion protection. So when you're on those big bikes, the GSs, the 1290s going like, uh, let's say illegal speeds, uh, you'll still be fairly protected there uh, with all the, the technology that we built into this fabric here on the jacket. And that about sums it up for the new Badlands Pro A3 jacket here. If you guys have any questions, hit us up in the comments below. Find us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, I think that's everything, you know, all the social medias. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.